So here the next problem is to find the condition the numbers A, B, and C such that the given system is consistent. And once we have this condition, to find all the solutions in terms of A, B, and C. So as usual, we are going to write the equation or the system of linear equations given in augmented form, and then reduce the augmented form into Roshelon form. And then from the Roshelon form, we should be able now to figure out what the question wants us to respond to. So solution. Step one is to write the augmented form, which will be one, three, one, A minus one, minus two, one, B, three, seven, minus one, then C. So this is the augmented matrix of the system. That is the first step. So once we have the augmented matrix, we write it into racial and form by row operations. So this matrix So row one, we keep it to be row one because already we see this one, which expect it to be in that position. But here we expect to have a zero. So we'll say row two to be row two plus minus one. Okay, simply plus positive one, because this is negative, this positive row one. And row three will be row three plus negative three row one. So that's the first step we do to ensure that this first column has only one at the leading element here, and then these other positions are zeros. So one, three, A. So negative one plus one is zero. Negative two plus three is one. One plus one is two. And then B plus A is A plus B. 3 plus minus 3 times 1 is 0. 7 plus minus 3 times 3 is 7 minus 9, which is minus 2. C plus minus 3 times A is C minus 3A. So by doing that, we have successfully put this first column in the correct form. And you see also this one is in the correct form. So what means that we need to make this uh, minus two to be zero. But remember here we had negative one plus minus three times one. So negative one minus three is minus four. So here we have minus four. So we say row one, we keep it to be row one. Row two, we keep it to be row two, but row three, we say it will be row three plus twice row two, so that we ensure this is zero. So this operation will give us the matrix one, three, one, A, zero, one, two, A plus B. Now here we have zero, zero, minus four plus two times two will give us zero. And then we have C minus three A plus two times A plus B. So C minus three A plus two A plus two B. So we'll have C minus A plus 2b. So c minus a plus 2b. So the solution of this system relies on this quantity c minus a plus 2b. 
So because everything here now is zero on this other side, so uh, this is, so this is actually the racial on form. So remember this is X, this is Y, this is Z. Those are our variables in the equation. So the solution on this number, C minus A plus 2B, which can be written as C minus A minus 2B. So for this system to have a solution, the last row corresponds to an equation zero equals to C minus A minus two B. So if C is not equals to A minus two B, there is no solution. That means that if this right hand side of this equation is not zero, then I uh, will not have a solution like in the previous case we did in the previous lecture. Hence, the system is consistent if and only if C is given by A minus 2B. So this is the condition. That makes this system to have a solution. So we are saying that for this to have a solution, then you expect this position to be zero. Everything here should be zero. So when everything there is zero, then it means that we are remaining with uh, this other two parts. So That means that if this is zero, then we'll have one, three, one, zero, one, two, zero, zero, zero. Then this is zero. And we'll have this one as A plus B. This one we have A. So that means if C equals to A minus 2B and taking X3 to be T, this is a free variable. And then in this equation, we have x uh, from this, uh, let me just write one, three, one. And then I have a zero, one, two, a plus b. Zero 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 zero. So we have x plus three y plus z equals to a, and then we have y plus two z equals to a plus b. Okay. 
So then we'll have y alone will be a plus b minus 2z. And we have fixed z to be e. So this is the same as a plus b minus 2t. And then x will be a minus 3y minus z. So which will be a minus 3, but the value of y is the same as a plus b minus 2t, and z is t. So this is the value of x. So x will be a minus 3a minus 3b plus minus 3 times minus 2 is positive 6t minus t. So we have minus 2a minus 3b plus 5t. So therefore, x alone will be given by 5t minus, say, 2a plus 3b. So therefore, the solution is x equals to 5t minus 2a plus 3b, y equals to, from our computation, a plus b minus 2t. And z alone is given by t. So where t is any real parameter. So that's how we that's given. Uh, so simply do the usual stuff, write the system in augmented form, then reduce into raw echelon form, and then reason out from the raw echelon form when the system can have a solution or when the system cannot have a solution. Then you'll be able to solve in the usual way. Thank you.